So here we are, we're still working on writing and uploading a blog post and we've put our content in there, we've added our title, we've done our cross links, and we've made sure that we have the proper categories. Now what I want to look at is how do I optimize this so that it actually performs better on Google and the other search engines. On most of the WordPress blogs that, I, that I've helped you with, uh, if you scroll down to the bottom of the post, you have a tool or a plugin, it's a wizard if you will, an optimization wizard called Yoast and that's the one I use. Yours may look a little different uh, than my version and that's okay, they, they all work basically the same way. So I've got a couple of things here that, I, that I'm going to work on very quickly. Focus keyword. Um, in this case, this article is really about, um, let's call it marketing. So I'm going to tell, sorry. I'm going to tell the tool that my keyword is marketing. And so I hit the return. I'm also going to hit save draft. Now, this already went to green, which is a little rare, but we'll, we'll try to figure out, can we, can we tighten this post up a little bit? Can we optimize it a little bit better to get better results? So again, I just scroll to the bottom, and I know, okay, in my article heading uh, right up here, my title, uh, it looks like, hey, yep, I use the word marketing. It's in my page title, my URL. Uh, that's the permalink It's in there. My content, I've actually used the word marketing five different times. Meta description, it's not there. So the meta description is usually when you look at Google and you see the link and uh, usually a two-sentence uh, snippet, it's a snippet, um, that is usually picked up from Google. What I want to do is actually tell it what to say, and that's usually done as an enticement to the reader. So, um, marketing yourself or your services is better if people understand your motivation. This is referred to as your story. It builds credibility. Click to learn more. Okay, now I noticed that I went over. I've only got 156 characters that include spacing. So uh, I know I'm here. So one thing I can do is when I learned to type, they always said two spaces after a period. I think the new rule is you can go to one. So that's a real quick pickup. Uh, so I've got five here. So now what I want to find is five characters. Um, how about if I do this? Parentheses, this, your story. And then I can probably get rid of this entire second sentence. Need to clean up that fragment there. So that should be here. Builds credibility. Click to learn more. Now I still have 15 characters, so I like to use it. I mean, this is this is exactly what it's going to look like. Um, so what what can I do here? Uh, marketing your services uh, is better if people understand your motivation. E, G, your story. Okay, I'm down to 10. For now, let's just go with that so we don't uh, take up a lot of extra time here. But now you can see, obviously, the word marketing, which is our focus keyword, is in the meta description as well. So I'm going to come up here and hit Save Draft. This is, again, this whole thing I want to save. And as I look at this, my SEO uh, has a green light. So again, I, I could publish this right now, but there may be a few other tricks that I can do uh, to actually tighten this up a little bit more. Now. My version stops right here until I go to page analysis. Sometimes the page analysis information is also viewable right here. Again, it just depends on which version. So as I look at these lights, I've got a bunch of green lights, which I like. Um, the yellows are usually fairly easy uh, to address. And definitely, if I can get rid of reds, this is an orange. If I can get rid of reds, so much the better. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So what do I know here? Keyword density uh, is a little low. This says it was only found five times. So now if I want, I can kind of come back up here and figure out, can I get uh, the word marketing in here another time? 
um, let's see, or another several more times. And ideally, if you've got it in your title and in your first paragraph, that does help. This is a sign of a good of good marketing. Okay, and let's see various aspects of personal branding and marketing. Again, I don't want to keyword stuff, but I do want to make sure I've got it in there a few times uh, to where I can hopefully get that, uh, that light down to a, a green or at least minimize it. So again, page analysis where I had to go. Keyword density is a little low. It's an orange, not a red, so you know what? I'm going to go with that. This one is something I, I look for. You know, because of what we do, we generally write at a higher level, which means our sentences may be longer. We may have a lot of commas in there and things like that. And when you're writing on the Internet, sometimes you've really got to kind of uh, reduce the complexity. You've got to make the, the copy, the content, a little bit easier to read. And so one of the things they look at is the, um, is the length of the sentences. In this case, uh, it suggests making shorter sentences. Now, I could do that, uh, but that's going to take me a little time. Uh, if you're going to take the time to do that, start at the top and find out. Uh, anytime you have a series of commas, you may be able to break that up into separate sentences. And again, just, just reduce the overall size and length of these sentences, and that's a good way to get past that. So as I scroll back down, let's see what else goes on. Uh, no subheadings like an H2. That's a header. That's a second level header up here in the copy. So I might be able to come up here and say, okay, um, how about how about uh, this is my story. Where could I put a header in here? Okay, the objective is to engage your audience. And it's the way to develop your story. Why don't we Why don't we add a space in here and put um, telling your your story? Um, and I'm just going to take that, highlight it. I'm going to come right over here and put heading two. I want that to be an H two. Okay, that makes it a little bit larger, and it gives me another uh, break here. Save my draft. And a lot of times you might want to put your keyword in there or something, but again, it's another visual draft, which also works with the search engines and gives them some cues as well. So as I come back down here to a page analysis, um, I know that I've got the, uh, the header, so that went away. You've not used your keyword phrase in the subheading, so let's, let's see if we can do that. Get rid of that red one again. Um, why don't we call it, instead of telling, why don't we call it marketing your story. Save draft. And again, this takes a little bit of time to do, but if you've already you know, written a, a good quality blog post, why not tune it up a little bit? And this, this tool is just a great little tool. Now I've got more greens, I've got fewer uh, oranges and things like this. Outbound links, I don't use a lot of outbound links, so um, this one I don't really worry about. It's a yellow, it's not a red. Um, so that's a, another another tool. So again, right now this is green, and if I wanted to, I could go ahead and publish this out. In fact, I've never published an article that was 100% greens. Uh, you can get there, but sometimes the little extra bump you might get by really working through these uh, can be a bit of an issue. So I tell you what, let's do this. Let's go ahead and leave it where it is, and I'm going to close this segment, and we'll come back and I'll show you how to insert uh, a photo and, to, and optimize that photo uh, as well. So uh, we'll come into the next video and that'll be the, uh, the segment on adding media.